guys, I'm Isabel. I'm Claire's roommate. We're on a break right now. We just need some time We're apart. We're on a break. <laughs> Here are my lights. Um, Hey guys, it's Claire from Clarify Creations. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today we're going to be doing my college dorm room tour slash reveal. So let's just get straight on into the video. Alrighty, here is what you see when you first enter the room. We normally have our two ID lanyards up here for just our school IDs. And here's my Grumpy that he made my cross, so thank you Grumpy. And then our lovely door that weighs probably 250 pounds because it is just so heavy. Next we have our closets. The one over here is my roommate Isabel's. Just her beautiful cover. And it also matches her bedspread, which I'll just show you guys later. But here is my also very stylish curtain that I got from my mom. Thank you, mom, for getting that for me. As you can see, here is my closet behind me. It's actually a pretty good size for being a dorm room closet because typically they're about half the size of this and definitely not nearly as tall. It's so tall that I can barely reach the top and I really have to do some serious jumping which works out my calf muscles, so super strong calf muscles for the win. Here's where I keep my clothes, obviously they're all on these hangers and most of them I manage to fit on the really thin hangers like this. It's just a great way to save space because you definitely need that with these closets. Moving on, you see this long towel. This towel is drying from last night. I took a shower and then that's what I use to hang it up just so my towels will always be nice and dry and fresh. And then on this corner we have my closet organizer that I also got from my mom. On the first little tier I have my bags and wallets and just things like that and there's uh, contacts, my rain things, then some shower essentials like shower caps which I never use but they're, they're there if I ever use them. Then there's some more hair things. There's my beautiful Biltmore soft absorbent towels that my grandma got me so thank you grandma and grumpy. Moving on there's just the navy blue towel and then there's some random clothes and then my laundry basket. And over here, you see the curtain that's swishing. Over here, you see my shoes. I have a very crazy collection of shoes. My goodness. My entire collection consists of one pair of nude high heels, you know, for that honors convocation ceremony. One pair of Adidas tennis shoes that I stole from my mom and they are kind of smelly because I've been walking around on them. And then finally, my most exciting pair of shoes were also from my roommate Isabel. She gave them to me. Brand new memory foam Nike flip flops. For those late night shower runs, actually they're not good for the shower. You never want to put memory foam in the shower. I learned that the hard way. Here's what they look like. It's just super soft and comfortable to walk around when I want to go brush my teeth or just walk around the halls. It's a great way to just slip on the shoes and go. So they're always kept at the front of the room. And then I have a few backpacks on the floor. My Columbia backpack, which is the main one I use for school. And then behind it, I have my Vera Bradley backpack, this floral one. I really love it because it's water resistant and I use it to take for my shower essentials, such as my curtain, not my curtain. 
I do not bring a curtain to shower. That would just be plain silly since we do have community showers. I bring my towel and my clothes and I just put them all in there so it's nice and handy to grab and go. Then I have my purple cobby bag that's just sitting there all alone in the corner. Poor old Kavu. All three of these bags are really widely used and I found them all super convenient to have around so they're definitely going to be sticking. I know having three bags is like, hmm, do you really need three bags? Well the answer is yes, yes you do. Always. And then on the one shelf that I can actually reach quite easily, I just have my shower caddy. It's plastic and it just has my regular shower flip flops that I walked four miles in, which is not a smart idea, so don't, don't do that. It's, it doesn't end well, it ends in blisters. Lotion, shampoo, boring things, and then my hand towels because they would not fit in here. And finally behind me we have my other organizer that's super heavy right now. Also got it from my mom. It just has my toothbrush, my toothpaste, some lotion, contact things, basic necessities that you need for that night care routine, which will be coming up soon if you wanted to know. And finally, you can see these binder clips. There's actually two more layers on here, but I just went ahead and clipped them up because I didn't need them with these very fancy looking binder clips. It cost me a dollar. So that's why I have binder clips on my closet organizer, if you were wondering. That's my closet. I also forgot to show you the mirror when I was walking in, so we'll go and look at that now. There we are. Hi guys. This full length mirror is mainly used by my roommate for makeup purposes. I just use it to film videos, so. There's our recycling bin. We have been very good citizens and keeping the earth clean by doing our part in recycling. We're green. Next we have my desk area, which is primarily where I study the most when I'm not at the library. Second favorite spot to study is here. It just has my desk items, my computer, and then my bookshelf and a blanket, so I'll show you guys in detail. There's the blanket that one of our really good friends made for me. It's so soft and I think it's just good to have since these chairs are not very comfortable. It's just a nice cushion. Then we have my Apple laptop lamp some pencil organizers, this work hard paperweight, an essential oils diffuser, and one of my favorite things is this bookshelf because it just has so many really nice pictures of family and other things and I think it's a great way to display all of your things. And here we just have my to-do list. Currently I have to do some chemistry homework and calculus so wish me luck on that. And then there's my calendar that's very much uncentered. We do not know how to center things. It's a very big problem. So make sure to take a level if you're ever gonna move into a college dorm, that thing will come in handy. Next we have the plush bed with the all time favorite pillow pet cruise. As you can probably guess, this is where I do most of my sleeping or all of it actually. And my pillows are just right there. I have a few decorative pillows, but not too many because I don't want it to be a hassle every morning to make the bed. Some fairy lights, which I'll turn on in a minute so you guys can see. And then on my side, we have my wall decor that I made. I made actually all of my wall decor, except for that one. I didn't make that one. My dad bought it for me. This one is just a saying that I made and printed off of my iPad. It says, what she tackles, she conquers. And that quote is by Richard Gilmore. Over here, I have my little friends display that I also painted and made. It took me many days to paint this thing. It was a struggle, but I did it. So here's all of my memories. Then moving on here, this quote just says the all time famous dorm sweet dorm. Here we just have batching pictures of my family. We all took a picture in a Tennessee shirt and then we have individual pictures with coordinating shirts as well, which I thought was super cute. So I made that to always remind me that my family will be here with me no matter what. And moving down, we have, oh honey, stop buzzing and just be. I actually got this quote made on Etsy for me. It's by Laney Letters if you wanna check her out. I'm sure she would greatly appreciate your business. It's just so cute and it's from one of my favorite books. 
um, the author is Robin Jones Gunn, so if you've read any of her books, please comment down below because I do not meet a lot of people who have read her books and I love them so much. <sighs> love Robin Jones Gunn. Stepping down from my bed, in case you were wondering how I climbed up onto the very high bed, I'll show you. So here you can see it's probably four and a half feet at least, and there's no way I could climb that. I'm just too short. But here we have the handy dandy ottoman. It's just so beautiful and soft and velvet. Next, I have my dressers, which I'll show you what's inside most of them. The first storage bin just has all of my techie things like electronics and wires that aren't really super fun to look at, so I put it in a cute container to make it look a little bit more presentable. Just a bunch of wires, nothing fancy, and some batteries. My lap desk, just sitting there waiting to be used. Next, we have this drawer. This drawer just has mainly school supplies, calculator, books, binders, things like that. Just socks and some shirts and pajamas. Moving on to the next drawer, this one's a bit more exciting, are some clothes, actual clothes. So jeans, long pants. Finally, the third one is probably the most exciting. Everybody's waiting for it. My cleaning drawer. Yes, here you can see the variety of cleaning products Claire and Isabel uses. My good friend Sarah got this for us, and I really love it because it's super small and compact, and you never know what's going to go on in the dorm, because the other day I just scraped myself on my beautiful ottoman, and that's a daily occurrence for me, so it's probably a good thing that we have a full 250-piece first aid kit. Sarah also gave me these really nice Germex hand wipes, which also come in handy since our dorm do actually does not have a sink in the room, which is a little bit sad, but, you know, we make do with these Germex free Germex antibacterial hand wipes. We're going to talk about this beautiful rug. It's just so fluffy. My roommate brought that for us. Coffee stand with the lovely Keurig and my coffee mug and then my alarm clock. And over here, I kind of copied my roommate and got a little bed shelfy thing because it's just so handy to have. Then our window, such a nice window. Unfortunately, the lighting is not going to cooperate, so sorry about that. We have the fridge. It's actually pretty full. It's what the inside of the contents look like. So that's what we eat sometimes when we're not at the dining hall. And then some chocolate. Mmm. Yum. Alrighty, so I am back and it's a few hours later because I wanted to show you guys the really pretty lights behind me. They're on my bed. They're just the curtain lights. Here are my lights on my room. As you can see, the curtain lights go all the way around my bed and it's just so beautiful, I think. It's nice at night and it's very soothing to look at. Moving on to my roommate side, Isabel. We'll be making a video coming up in a few weeks, possibly, or maybe two weeks. It depends how busy we are, but then you'll get to meet her formally because she has appeared in a few of my vlogs, and I'm sure probably you guys are wondering, who is that person? So we're going to explain a little bit in our next video, so stay tuned for that. And here we have some tea. Isabel likes tea and I like coffee, so we have these cute little matching mugs that I got from TJ Maxx by Ray Dunn. It says tea, and then mine says coffee at the coffee station because I just drink coffee sometimes. And here's our little tea tray. So cute. Bunch of teas. My agave nectar. Gotta be healthy. As you may have noticed, her side focuses more on her embroidery, and yes, they are her embroideries. She made every single one of them, which is very impressive. Hi guys, I'm Isabel. I'm Claire's roommate. Like she said, we're going to be doing a Q&A video in a couple of weeks, so you'll get to know me a little bit more. But she just wanted me to kind of tell you a little bit about my side. I think that she mentioned previously, it's a bit more crafty. These are all my own things. I'm Quasi Creations on Etsy if you're interested in buying something. It's probably one of my favorite hobbies. And it's just a really great pastime. I haven't been able to do it as much as I've wanted to since we've started school, but hopefully that'll change. And then the rest of it is just really things that make me feel comfortable and remind me of home. So I have all my pictures here. As you can see, I used to be a dancer. I have some pictures that my five-year-old twin siblings drew me and just little notes and things. And my calendars, because 
I don't know how I'd survive without those. <laughs> Up at the top on that shelf there, I have some, there's some things that I did with yarn that match the room nicely, and another calendar, and then my little bookshelf and thing just to keep stuff organized. And then on the wall over there, I have all my Polaroids. Very, I suppose you could say eclectic, but it just reminds me of home, so I love it. So here we have our printer, which would have been a great idea because there's some assignments that we have to have printed and it costs money to print at the library, so obviously we didn't want to do that. So we got this here contraption and we decided Yeah, it seems simple, seems easy, it doesn't require ink, so it costs less. All good, except we can't get it to print. <gasps> we've tried connecting it, we've followed all the steps, we've downloaded the app, we've set the password, so it's just a decoration. <laughs> HP, please sponsor this video. <laughs> Tell us how to fix our printer. <laughs> If you guys have any suggestions on how to fix the HP printer, please let us know in the comments down below because we desperately need help <laughs> because our biology lab is Tuesday. Yeah. So we have to print. It's been a real struggle. Me and the printer are currently separated and so <laughs> Isabel, turn, yeah, it's her turn. <laughs> and if, if things go well, we might get reunited but we're on a break right now. We just need some time we apart. We're on a break! <laughs> now, that concludes the room tour. <laughs> and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Mm. And give it a huge thumbs up and a comment on how to fix our printer. <laughs> See you guys in my next video. Bye!